Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The Stamp Act Congress was held in October 1765 in New York to coordinate colonial resistance to the unpopular Stamp Act, which required nearly every important document printed in the colonies to be taxed. The Stamp Act Congress was significant. Despite the fact that only nine of the 13 colonies sent representatives, the Stamp Act Congress was an example of collective American political action. The Congress produced the Stamp Act Resolves. The resolves were astoundingly moderate. They reiterated the colonists' status as British subjects of the king and proclaimed the colonies' due subordination to that august body, the Parliament of Great Britain. However, the resolve stipulated that it is inseparably essential to the freedom of a people and the undoubted right of Englishmen that no taxes be imposed on them but with their own consent, given personally or by their representatives. The resolves reasoned that because the colonists did not have elected representatives in Parliament, but instead only in their own colonial legislatures, only these legislatures could rightfully tax the colonies. In the end, strong American opposition to the Stamp Act rendered it impossible to enforce, and Parliament repealed the Act shortly after it was adopted. Parliament nevertheless felt compelled to state in the Declaratory Act of 1766 that it had the power to pass legislation for the American colonies in all cases whatsoever. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute. <laughs>